So it's been rumored that Ben and Jen are not doing good, you guys. That's not There's good. There's been lots of um, photos of them looking awkward with each other, not wearing their rings, just looking tense when they go out. Um, and you know what? J-Lo even canceled her tour. Okay? I saw that. This happened after her underwhelming project uh, that was a movie, album, and documentary. She said she canceled her tour due to personal reasons. She wanted to be around her kids, her family, all that good stuff. Um, but there are rumors saying that she canceled it because, you know, um, Ben didn't want her living that lifestyle anymore. Right. Right. So right. my question to you guys is, like, do you dim your light? Like, should you dim your light so that way you can work on your, your relationship, your marriage, or how like what do you do in that thing? Like Absolute, she's just trying the best that she can. Absolutely not. I think there's a compromise though. Sure, you got to compromise. Don't dim your light. Don't dim your light. Nope. But there there has to be a compromise. And uh, and just back back to your uh, Ben and Jen. I, the weird thing, and I don't know if this is true. You could correct me if I'm wrong. I heard they live in two different places. They're living separately right now. That's. TMZ caught a, a interesting is getting photos of him outside a home in Brentwood, which is a neighborhood that he lives in in LA. But it's not the marital mm. home him and Jen have together. Man. They're selling so, the home as well, and there's the pictures are um, back up on the MLS. Wow! Even though it's not saying that it's being sold, it's just pictures. But that's kind of like a, sixty million dollars. It's, ha it's yeah. happening. It's yeah. coming. So I mean, and and her tour too. The This Is Me tour. I mean, there were a lot of people that were kind of looking forward to like her getting back out there. She's in great shape already. She always puts on a good show. Um, so yeah, that's that's unfortunate. I I hope. I wonder what the issue really they is. Work though. it out. Like, what are they? You you've they, been back and forth. Obviously, you were with uh, my guy a, a Rod. It didn't work out. You moved back to the love of your life, Ben. He was with somebody else. Yeah, exactly. I mean, what is it really? They're yeah. saying that because they just... you know how big they are, stars individually. What could it possibly from be? From what I've if heard, you're, if you're assuming he likes the private life and she likes right. to be out there with everything they do, and he's just like chill out. But like, he, I don't know, want, but you know, that. I don't need all that. But he knows this already. I mean, he knew that getting into the relationship. He knew that's that what I'm going saying. Like, you can't come and change or dim her light because. Right. You want her to change, bro. You knew who she was when you got with her. Remember the Jenny from the, uh, what was the video? They were on the boat together and he's rubbing all on the back. Oh, like, yeah. But she's been huge forever. Right. That's crazy, though, if yeah. that is true. Yeah. I don't know if it's true, but that's what it sounds like is well, happening. Well, what is true is that she canceled her tour yeah, to be with did. her friends and family. And it's kind of like you put two and two together and it's like, oh, she's yeah. doing it to, it seems like she's to doing save it her to marriage? save her marriage. Wow. That's what it seems like. That's crazy. That That is crazy. So, I, I mean, I'm show is going on. I mean, on. is that dimming your light or is that showing like loyalty to the person? I think know? it's, I think it's dimming you. I think it's for her. She's saying, I love you so much. I will stop this show so we can work on our relationship. Right. That's, that's what I'm assuming. Obviously I, I'm not in the middle of a relationship. No, I understand. And either Ben, if that is true, he's either going to like understand, respect that and work on what you guys need to work on or I don't, but it's kind of embarrassing. How long on have they been end? back together? No, I think it's embarrassing. I, I think it's end. embarrassing um, that Jennifer Lopez feels embarrassed. I think that she's tried this mm. love thing for so long. She's been married a, a handful of times. Yeah, right. She got back with uh, Ben. It's not working again. I, I don't know. I, I I feel like she's embarrassed. Okay. Mm. Okay. That's that's a good. Um, and I think ben, I feel like Ben probably doesn't care. I mean, they're they're. I'm not saying he doesn't care like about her. Work it out. I don't know, man. Like they're going to each other's functions and they're showing face. They're yeah. They're showing yeah. people show face right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That are not celebrities. Right. So right. I did this showing face. I don't know. So if you guys were with somebody and you know you guys were having problems in your relationship and they were like, okay, I'm gonna stop do. I'm gonna stop working so hard. I'm gonna stop like several projects that I'm doing. How would that make you feel? Like, would you want them to stop to work on it, or would you be like, no, I want you to be you. I want you to do what makes you happy. Depends on what's happening though. Okay. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it, that's a that's a good point that you you point out. Um, it depends on what's happening. If it's something that's just affecting the both of you. Um, see, I was going to say, because the both of you are in the same living <laughs> you, space, but you're, but, but you're not. You're, you're like, I mean, these are people that have Boku money to the point where they can stay in one person. One person's in the East Wing, one person's in the West Wing, and like they don't have to see each other. But if it's affecting you to the point where you can't, you know, do natural things, your day to day things. Yeah, you got to kind of stop and, and kind of go back to that person and say, let's get this right. But if it's something where like 
it's a quick fix. There's a reason why you were attracted to that person. You were attracted to them yeah. for who they were before you got involved in their life. So why take that away from them? I don't, I don't see why they can't work it out. You know? I think they're trying. Um, uh, uh, hopefully, man. Yeah, hopefully just, it works I mean, out. She's a human being. And no matter what she has, I mean, that money can't go. When she passes away, we all pass away. It's just our souls that that are gone. It's like you can yeah. take all this stuff with you. And she's a human, and I think everyone deserves love. But it is a little dangerous at the same time, though, because if that's the reason why she stopped her tour, because... I heard the ticket sales were absolutely not the reason why it was stopped. If no, I if couldn't that, see that is the reason why she stopped, like, is she gonna get resentful later on? Been like, I could have did this, I could have did that, but I didn't do it for you. You know? I think, uh, you know what? You give it all you got. If, if if she needed to do that to prove to him, and it didn't work out, she can't ever say I didn't try my best. That's very true. And I don't think I don't see her. And like I said, this is just for me on the outside looking in speaking she doesn't seem like the giving up type of person she seems no like way. the person that will just keep going after it no matter what i mean yeah. like you know junior alluded to earlier she's been in a handful of relationships it didn't stop her from getting into another one so yeah, yeah. She, some people will just say you know what this didn't work mm, i'm done with relationships i'll just you know live my life uh aka mr ray j on club shay shay yesterday saying oh that he, he don't want to you know be with anyone else other than princess so everybody's different but i don't see jennifer lopez in that light i see her as a type of person if it doesn't work out she she doesn't give up so i think i mean she i am just, rooting for them yeah I'm, I am, of course, I am rooting too. For them. of course i'm rooting for them too bad about i have nothing to think about either of them i mean everybody knows she was my biggest crush i was talking about j-lo you before were, we got here I, I was a big she, fan she looks great even now yeah. You know, so yep. um, yeah, she, she definitely does. will not have a problem if, if she has to go back out there and find someone. So, so let me ask you this: Would you would you date Jennifer Lopez, knowing how big of a star she is, and you know you are where you are in your life, she's where she at in her life? Would that be? Are you secure with that? Would you would well, you date somebody on that level? Yeah, it would have to. It would have to be. It would have to be someone special because that person would have to understand you as a person and you would have to understand them as a person because yeah. when you're already like in the limelight like that most people who have someone that's not in that limelight they understand that this person's gonna catch flack either way even though people don't see them mm -hmm. there's gonna be some guy that comes to me or some girl that comes up to me they're gonna have to be able to deal with that yeah you know so it's a lot of people don't really look at the 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 B side of it. The, we only see the A side because the A side, you're glamour, glitz, you're on red carpets. So I think I, I don't see anything wrong with it. I would yeah. be able to, but at the same time, on the flip side, that person would have to be respectful to know, like, man, I'm in the limelight all the time. Like, I gotta, you gotta really be ready for that world. Yeah, is this person ready for this world, and is this person ready for like what I like to do and where I want to go and and if, if they are and they're cool with it, cool. I mean, this is true. I mean, if you don't show up on that person's arm, what's going on? It's you guys issue. have problems? Yeah. What's going on? Well, He's like, oh, he just at the house watching Netflix. And that's what happened. That's not going to roll. And that's what happened at the Met. <laughs> yeah. Because she co-chaired it and then he didn't show mm -hmm. up. So everyone was like, well, where's Ben? Yeah. Where is he? He can't you know? even. Wow, that's crazy. And not even that. You could just be just talking to somebody, and then all of a sudden you're in an article. Junior Leto is now dating such and such just because <laughs> this girl didn't show up. You know what I'm saying? So it it's gonna take a special. It takes a special man or woman to be that person next to that person because you're gonna deal with a lot. Would you miss it? Would you date somebody that's like a superstar? Superstar. And like we have different lifestyles yeah. and different like You have your lifestyle. I mean, he, he met you we would and have, he was like, Wow, I, I wanna take you and I, then I would have to really think about it. I'd have to think if I'm it's like a lot. I, I if I'm ready for all that and I'd have to think if like can I am like am I capable of living that life? I'm capable know? of the life. I'm living it. But like there's bad sides to it though. Yeah. That's what I'm that's what I'm saying. Am I am I oh, yeah. am I ready for the like the, the bad side of all of that comes along this with it? This is true. This is true. That's hard. Very difficult. It is because it, there's so many people. I mean, you look at, I mean, I know she's popular in her own right in the music industry, even though a majority of people don't know who she is. But Usher's new wife, um, she okay, she's yeah. like a senior um, executive over at um, one of the record labels. I mean, she she's powerful in her own right. But at the same time, I mean, your husband is Usher. You know what I mean? So <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's seriously. like, can you imagine how many ladies try to 
come at that guy and like how many ladies he serenades and i'm sure she hears all kinds of stuff all the time but we don't we don't see or hear about that side you know you know, this is true. you know what i do what i'll say i do like about benifer like and their families they, they each have kids from you different know, previous marriages, marriages mm-hmm. right those kids love each other it's so cute to see oh them. that's like, awesome it's blended so family blended family they really blended it really good and it's really cute to see like you know ben's uh kid and then jlo's kid like hanging wow. out and holding hands Man. and like, being nice. excited to see each other so yeah. that's really cool i'm Very sure that's nice. a huge factor in what's going oh, on oh right yeah because i mean what about the kids like if this doesn't work out like you've went from <laughs> these kids true. being together to them not being together to now they're back together again well, to the now kid, the kids were never in the picture in the first place okay so the kids were never not in the first time not in the first time okay no. got it got it i was gonna say because she had kids like the first time they no, were together no, no. she didn't have any okay no. so she got she went kids. on to marry got Mark it. anthony and they had kids. got it got it okay he went on to marry jennifer gardner and, and then he had kids okay and now they blended it and now they're all brothers and sisters yeah. and it's so cute because that would have been that would have been crazy can you imagine that if she had kids before they got together your kids get used to you you leave mm. and then you come back that kid's gonna be like i'd be mad at my mom and dad <laughs> yeah you know so why are you playing with my heart so, exactly. no, so thanks for correcting that because yeah. i was like man that's crazy and right, we're gonna take a quick uh, song break and be right back